welcome to the grind and welcome to the vlog this is the Kimco exciting S400i and this is perhaps at least an overkill type of scooter if you don't ask me and we're going to discuss everything that is overkill on this motorcycle and we're going to discuss as, as well the price what type of rider is this motorcycle for and we're going to compare it a little bit with the downtown 350 and the AK 550 now that I've seen the AK 550 and the downtown 350 now I can say that um, this is at least second to the best expressway legal motorcycle that I've seen in 2022 and the first one will be the AK 550 obviously but the beauty of this scooter is undeniable as you're going to see and like I said a while ago why this is a little bit overkill let's take a look at the size first um, it has at least a very wide wheelbase if you're going to check this one is around 1500 mm which you may compare with the other um, bigger bikes out there like the ZX14 or or the Hayabusa or some bigger sport bikes another thing to mention the seat if you are a 5 foot 6 tall biker like me and you are not that big the seat is a little bit overkill and it's too thick for me I think this is based on a on a sport touring type of motorcycle which um, it provides comfortability if you're going to check the pillion the pillion is not too thick but it's too wide at least for a, for an Asian rider I think this is built actually for bigger bigger people if you're going to ask me and if you're going to check the grab bar on the pillion it's also big it's metal and the headlights on the rear check it it's big enough to be to be noticed and it's all LED by the way if we're going to check the front side it's all LED now they did not display this motorcycle or this scooter with the windshield on but I'm going to show you a picture of this motorcycle with windshield and that's how big the windshield is and it's adjustable as well now this is the thing that I'm going to mention when it comes to the step board or when it comes to your riding comfortability because if you're going to check it's not too wide but it's long enough it can fit at least the foot of Shaquille O'Neal when it comes to the length but when it comes to the width I'm not quite sure and you can go on this reference and size 9.5 and that's how you're gonna look at it it's not too wide but it's long enough for your eyes seat height is only 805 millimeter it's not that high if you're 5 foot 6 you can almost flat foot it but if you're on the range of 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 4 something like that uh, you may have to one foot this one one butt cheek off and one foot this one because the seat height is approachable, no doubt about that. But the problem is the seat is too thick. See, too thick. Leading to the looks and the design, this is what I like about this scooter. And the same thing that I like about the AK550 when I saw it personally, though they, they provide comfort on this side, if you set your eyes on the front side, definitely, definitely you're going to see a sport look. I like the way it looks. I like the way it's having an LED signal lights out there. The DRLs are LED like I said a while ago. Um, the two-tone color, if you're going to check, it's having a metallic gray on this part and a blue, matte blue on this part. For me not to complicate things, just take a look how it looks on each side. I mean, it's a very beautiful scooter and this is what I like about sport bikes this kind of looks if you're going to check this kind of looks this is almost sport bike feels this part this is not a sticker but this looks like a carbon fiber hint it's a plastic this this part right here these are plastic 
and it's also having a carbon fiber hint on this part these are plastic and if you're going to check the exhaust the exhaust is a little bit overkill it's too big it's too wide you gotta give it to the research and development when it comes to this exhaust because then they will not put a big exhaust if it's not reasonable so I think it it includes the performance of the scoop if you are going to discuss about the exhaust there are very few to mention when it comes to the branding um, there's no Kimco logo here there's no K logo here and that's what I like it looks clean on the front side if you're going to ask me but I like the way that they are reminding you that this is an express way legal scooter and I like the way they are reminding you that this is the S version when you say exciting S it has no dough and it has an ABS as well we're going to check this is the key um, you're gonna have to unlock it to do it to do that you're gonna have to twist it on the left I think so or twist it on the right <laughs> if you wanted to shut the key ignition on this motorcycle all you have to do is press this yellow button to shut and it will shut to switch it on again you're gonna have to twist it like that and then put the key so we're gonna have to check what's inside the seat So you're, go you're going to have to open the seat on this side. You cannot open it on this side unlike the downtown 350 which has a lot of um, luggage space. It has a pilot light. I believe this is called pilot light and it has a thing that supports here. Um, that's the space you will have if you're buying or if you're owning this motorcycle. I believe you cannot put a full face helmet on this one. And another thing I'm going to complement this motorcycle. This is a USB port. This is not a lighter jack. So it's good to know that it's a USB port. The pockets are deep on each side. The right side doesn't have any USB port. This part right here, gas tank. All right. And another thing I may comment with this heavy motorcycle, because this is 195 kilos by the way dry weight and if you haven't watched how i center stand this motorcycle go watch that video <laughs> it's it's very amusing i thought i won't um center stand this motorcycle but it's so easy because the the engine was, is on the rear so it will be easy for you to center stand this motorcycle anyway um, let's proceed here on this part this is the cockpit it has a no dough when you talk about the nodo it's at least one of the best technology that kimco can offer apparently i cannot show you right now this is this motorcycle is brand new and it's not activated yet so <laughs> anyway it's good to know that it's having something like that and another thing that i like about this motorcycle is this spark brake where you're gonna have to pull it like that if you are parking in in incline something like that and it will be very very helpful they did not display the side mirrors i've seen at least four grips already coming from kimco and i've decided that the ak and the krv are better grips on this one even the the downtown 350 are better grips than this one but this is at least on the premium side if you're going to check yeah, it's still beautifully done another thing um, that I like about this motorcycle is when you are clicking the, the signal lights it, it clicks like this and you're gonna have to turn it off like this all right pass switch and another thing to mention on the tech and the specs is this Bosch 280 disc brake out front and the 240 disc brake on the rear having a branding of Kimco but these are Bosch actually and the stopping power will be great because it's having a double disc brake if you're going to check at least the size of the tires this is 120 70 15 on the front side 
Um, it's quite a thick tire, if you're going to ask me. And if you're going to check it on the rear, uh, let me check, let me check. 150, 70, 14 on the rear. It's having a fat, beefy tire on the rear. And another thing I like about this motorcycle is where they position the radiator. The radiator is out front. Uh, most most of the scooters that I see, the smaller ones, are on this side. Anyway, they position the radiator on this one. This is a liquid cooled scooter. If you proceed to the rear, it's having a dual shock absorber, which has a preload adjustable up to five levels. So that's what I like about the rear. And if you're going to check the rear again, this is a little bit overkill because of this one. This is already covered, but since they want to cover the tire, they put a mud guard on this side. So it will be protected more. And the design, if you're going to check, this is not actually much visible if you're going to ask me, but if, if you want to check the design of the wheels from the rear all the way to the front, which they are covered, it's having an aluminum wheels that is beautifully designed. So mentioning the things that we are not seeing on this motorcycle visibly is 195 kilograms dry weight. It's having a 12.5 liter capacity. Make no mistake because the engine is a little bit overkill. 400.1 cc, four stroke, four valve, single cylinder, and the, and the liquid cooled radiator, like I said a while ago, is situated out front. It's having a 36 horsepower at around 7,500 RPM, and it's having a 37 newton meters of torque under 6,000 RPM. The fuel consumption is not the most practical, but at least you could ride 100 kilometers with only 3.78 liters. So you may ride at least 200 kilometers before thinking of refueling the tank. Now, if you're going to mention the price, the price is around 359,000 pesos. It's slightly higher than the Kawasaki Ninja 400, which I truly, truly like. Um, it's 331,000 pesos. So if you're going to compare it along with the power, definitely the Ninja 400 is much more powerful. This is still a sport oriented, but it provides at least comfortability and technology. And the disc brake, it's having a dual disc brake on the front. That's what I like about this motorcycle. And the ABS technology is coming from the brand Bosch. It's having a Nodo Tech, which another thumbs up for me and when it comes to the design this is um, what I'm going to mention because I'm not truly a big fan of, of scooter but once I've seen the Kimco motorcycles or the Kimco scooters I fell in love with them directly I like personally the AK 550 and the KRV 180 but I'm gonna have to put this one in the second place under the AK550 because of its expressway capability and of its looks as well. It looks like a totally different motorcycle if you're going to ask me.